What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team of Fish Nichols YouTube channel. So this week we are participating in a charity event. Uh, it is called Life Is Just a Game, and what has it has happened is uh, Flow TK Cast has brought together the 16 of the best Pokemon players. I don't know how. I, I'm definitely not one of the best 16, so best 15 Pokemon players in the game right now. And has created a charity event where the winner of the tournament gets to pick all the money that gets donated. Um, it gets donated towards their charity of choice. So every single player has their own charity. They get to pick what charity they want the winnings to go to. So it's a very cool thing to do. So congratulations. Or thank you. Congratulations um, for doing this. Uh, thank you for doing this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about my deck list that I picked for the tournament. Um, as you can see it right now, it is a Mewtwo Solgaleo Burst deck. I uh, thought I was very original, and it was going to be the only ones playing Mewtwo. It's like the last tournament you can really play Mewtwo in. I guess there's a Pog Championship coming up where you can play Mewtwo in that as well. Um, it seems like a very interesting tournament. I don't know how Mewtwo will actually do in that tournament. It seems like there's a lot of new newcomers coming to the format uh, that will give this deck some problems. Uh, Vika Volt seems like a very big one. I think you can handle Eternatus with this deck. Um, yeah, I think you can handle Eternatus. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, but Mewtwo, let's go over it. Let's cover Mewtwo one more last time, and then we'll go over the, the website. Link is down below if you want to see um, the donation site. We can donate money. I'm going to try to reach out and say, hey, any money that was donated this week. Uh, also put that forward towards a prize pool because I'm not streaming it like other people are. Uh, so, <clears throat> and then uh, hopefully we can raise some money, right, uh, for the whoever wins it. So the main attacker, Mewtwo Mew GX, <clears throat> with that perfection ability, make it where you can use any attacks of GX or EX. The bench or discard pile of card we've seen. Um, Miraculous Duo does 200. Very strong card. We've seen this multiple times. And now uh, we're going to play it one last time. Why not? So let's go over the attackers in the deck. The main uh, what you're trying to do is do that turn one, turn, turn two. So Galio GX and use that Soul Burst. Search deck for five miniature cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. You'll notice we are playing two of these. That Soul Burst is very, like, that is the name of the game, right? You want a Soul Burst. You want to get a ton of energies in play, and they kind of use different attackers, and depending on the situation. You can also attack on Sogalio, it does 230. Um, it's not you know, not a terrible attack. You do have to discard all, all energy from the Pokemon, but and then 230 could hit some numbers. It could do some things. It could be an in-gamer as well. Uh, so let's go everybody else, right? So the main guys in here is going to be like Greninja Zork GX. It's got that Dark Pulse attack. Uh, it does 30, and this attack does 30 with damage times amount of Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon. Uh, so this is for all the Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon, so you can do a ton of damage. You can just, like, 30 plus 30, you just start racking up a ton of energy. So there's, uh, what, eight extra cards that you can use, uh, so that's a ton of damage you can do with Dark Pulse. But what this is in here is for Dragapult. Uh, if you can get some energies on a Greninja's Arc, they can't one-shot you. They can't even, they can probably two-shot you if they're, yeah, they can probably two-shot you. You do have resistance. How much does Dragapult do, like... 250 or 150 i mean is it do 130 or 150 i can't remember um i've never actually played dragapult too much uh i can't spell dragapult uh, it's like pu yo i'm struggling today so pult there he is Dragapult does 130, so yeah, he's not even two-shotting you. Uh, Horror Energy could play a, you know, how he could two-shot you. But what we're trying to do is you Soul Burst onto Greninja's Arc. And then get the, uh, the numbers. Everybody else had any problems with PTC or like that? <clears throat> Come on now. There it goes. Uh, but yeah, Dark Pulse. We're, it's here for Gren uh, it's here for Dark Pulse. Just turn the damage. Dark Union GX, don't worry about that. We are not attacking with that at all. Dark Pulse is where it's at. Mewtwo can, can you use it. It's a two energy attack that can do a ton of damage. And Dark Pulse hit for weakness. Your resistance is psychic, so that's a really cool thing. Uh, there is Mega Ch Sableye and Trinitar. It's got that Greedy Crush attack. It does 210. If your opponent's a GX or EX, you end their damage by, they're knocked by attack, you take one more prize card, which means that uh, the Denny's now become a three prize card. So you can knock out a tag team, knock out uh, a. a uh, a Dedini with a Mega Sableye Tyranitar attack, and then you can take three price cards. So that's something really, really nice with this. You do need five energy, so it is a monster attack to fulfill. But if you get those five energies on a Mewtwo, you can, like, I don't know, uh, Soul Burst, three onto the active, and so it has four and two to the bench. And then you get attached, and you get Greedy Crush or something like that, which is something very cool with this deck. I do like that a lot. You could try to uh, power this up as well. 
uh, to take down Dragapult. It could be another Dragapult attacker. Uh, so it is a backup attacker, but you usually want to focus on the Greninja's Arc, and then this is your backup. Uh, Lolan Raticake GX has Chuck Away. It does 40 times the amount of cards you discard. You can discard two from your hand, and for each one you discard, you do 40 each, so you can do 80. Um, it could hit some crucial numbers to take some knockouts. Uh, you can also soften a Pokemon while discarding Pokemon as well. Um, so if you get that turn two, you miss that uh, Soul Burst, you can at least chuck away and do some 80 damage, you know, start softening the Pokemon, and then maybe next turn do like a Vile Plume for like 260 or something, or for 180, so you're doing 260 pretty easily with that chuck away, which I do like a lot. Uh, Xerneas is in here for the ADP matchup. Uh, it's got the Path of Life. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active, you may move any number of energies from other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Uh, so all of a sudden, you can drop the Xerneas, switch to it, move three energies, and Bright Horns for 160 times two weakness, 320. So you're not going to RCS pretty easily. So it's a good attacker. ADP does seem like a very powerful deck that has been getting some uh, movement. So I do like that a lot. Um, there is Machamp, Marshadow of Machamp. This is really good against Pika Rom. Uh, 100 Bow's impact is 160. Of course, times two is 320. So what you can do is Soul Burst into a Marshadow Machamp and then also a Mewtwo and Mew. And then you get 100 Bow's impact. Take a knockout on a Lightning Tag Team. And then you use Mewtwo to clean up, maybe with Blastoise or something. Uh, there is Reshizard. Reshizard is good for that Flare Strike. It does 230. But the key here is Outrage. I've used Outrage a lot against Zashi Index. So Zashi will swing for 230 against you. And then of course, plus the 30, you're doing 260. So then you can outrage them back for a knockout against Zashi. And then if you can like time that with a Marnie plus an outrage and like leave with a bad hand, you can easily uh, start taking some quick knockouts with that Mewtwo that has a ton of damage on it. So outrage is really good in that sense because those Zashi Index, uh, I mean, they could play ADP, right? Um, but usually you can knock out an ADP um, Quicker than they power of Zashian, uh, so it's also a nice thing. You can like turn to an ADP while they can like barely get a GX tack off, so that's also something you have to keep in mind when you're playing against ADP. Is you can like quickly knock them out, but Reshi's Art is good for that outrage attack. Uh, you can also use Flare Strike, it's you know 230, it's a good attack, right? Um, <clears throat> the problem with Zashians is they do have uh, they don't have do they have resistance as well? Um, Trying to remember. No, they don't. They have resistance to grass. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to the outrage with the with a brave blade. Uh, you can still knock them out if they if they do like brave blade you and then you outrage them and they're playing like um, frying pan because you still hit for with a weakness or you still have plus thirty so it kind of negates that so you kind of knock them out that way so that's something pretty cool. Elder Goss is really good for the happy match. Get a supporter card. I said you're playing like four boss, two Guzma, two Mallow, four Marty, and five research. Which is really nice. Uh, there's one Vile Plume. <clears throat> that massive Bloom, just two energy attack for 180. You can, like, surprise your opponent and just take a huge knockout out of nowhere turn two. Like, if you go for turn one, attach energy, you don't do anything, and they just have, like, one Pokemon, you can mass the Bloom to take a knockout. And then you can kind of not need your um, your GX attack, and then you can kind of use a different GX attack if need be. Also, that Allergic Explosion does 50 and it burns, poison, and paralyze. Could be something that you could do. If you are in a pickle, you can like paralyze them and buy you a turn or something, which is something really nice with the Valpum GX. Uh, for Dedini, we want to be maximum consistent. We don't miss a beat, so that four of Dedini is really, really strong, so you don't miss a beat. Uh, two Soak Alley, like I said, this is your main guy. You want a Soul Burst. That's the point of the deck. Jirachi's for weakness. Um, you can also kind of like play, if you are playing against the Mewtwo uh, matchup, you can like kind of not drop it sometimes and like. Decide what you want to do because it does weakness on both. It does get rid of them. But if you can put yourself in a better position, then you don't drop the Jirachi. Also, Star Search is a good attack as well. Just to get a Psychic Energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Um, I've, I've learned this while playing Henry Brand's deck. Um, while he was using Star Search. And I was like, man, that's actually just a really good attack in general. Like, turn to Star Search when you, know, you don't feel threatened. So you can save your GX stack if needed. Um, Mewtwo, we've already talked about. Also, that Miraculous Duo could be really cool. Right? Just straight 200, is, it's a good attack for 3 energy. But also, if you have 4, you heal all damage from all your Pokemon. Uh, that is very hard to do without using Soul Burst, but if you can pull that off, that's really cool. And then one Blastoise GX. This is probably one of your other main attackers, right? Rocket Splash is such an ender. It shuffle any amount of Water G attached from your Pokemon into your deck. It does 60. For each card, you shuffle in that way. So you could do, I don't know, you attach one, do Soul Burst. That's uh, six energies on the field, so that's 360 damage right there that you could do pretty quickly. Uh, combine this with another attacker, and that gets Pikaram. 
You can use Marsha to match champ, right? You hundred out Buzz Impact and knock you out, and then you can use Blastoise GX if that will go away. Uh, it's something like all those different common combinations, right? You can use some of the attacker and then Blastoise to clean up, take your last three prize cards. It's, it's really, really cool. So that's all Pokemon in the deck. There's a ton of different options you can play in this deck. I know people are playing uh, Flygon. I know people are playing uh, Giratina Garchomp. I know some people are using the Welder-based version. I know some people are playing like Henry Brand's version with like Evatol and Xerneas. That's the cool thing about Mewtwo. You can play any kind of way you want to. And this is the kind of the deck I wanted to play and how I wanted to play it. Uh, there's four chairs, about four Quick Ball, <clears throat> just maximum consistency. Uh, the search for GX, the search for basics, you kind of have all your, you know, your stuff covered. And with four Dini, you're going to easily get this Pokemon in the discard pile. Uh, four Switch, to get the Pokemon off the bench, into the X spot, whatever you need. Two Tackle, which is really strong because you search for tag team cards, which could be Mewtwo or like the Guzmahala, Malolata. Guzmahala uh, is really good in this matchup too, in this deck too, because you can get like a Stadium. Uh, tool card and a special energy so you can get like your one of um, tool card if needed and then like a special energy you only play special energy so that's really really nice um and also you can get your tag teams out right so greninja um there's sable Tyranitar, martial to machamp reshizard there's mewtwo and mew uh so there's a lot of different things that tackle gets in this list and i do like the tackle package a lot chaotic swell is great in this deck uh especially with all the pika roms running around you can easily cut, you know, kind of their stadiums. So if they do play Marsh out of that, it could be a problem. But Chaotic Swell, just shutting down any kind of stadium card, saying, hey, if I get this down first and I play three of them, uh, we're going to be in a good position. We are playing three boss order. Uh, with this heavy of Dedini, it's really nice because you can data change, discard some stuff. The boss order brings somebody up in the X spot. So basically, you can, you're can you able to draw six cards every turn and gust as well. And especially with the Elder Goss, it's like you have four boss orders, so you're never missing a knockout. And even they like stamp you to two or three, you always have the option of boss order. It's pretty easy. Uh, we talked about Goose Mahal. It's just a really good card. Mallow Lana is good to switch, and you can heal as well. So you can heal your Mewtwo. Uh, I've used this more, unfortunately, for switching than healing. Uh, they, they, healing your Pokemon is very weird with this deck because you have Reshizard always. And so, like, if you heal, you're like, okay, I ruined the Reshizard. But then you put your Mewtwo Mew out of range. But then if they if they uh, Goosem up or they boss order the damaged Mewtwo, they're not hurting one of your Mewtwo. So it's definitely a weird kind of combo kind of thing. Uh, three Marnie for maximum disruption as well. Uh, this is kind of like the only thing you do for best selfie on. You could put Cryogon on this deck. I've seen some people play that in the list. I don't think that's enough. Uh, but you could maybe Cryogonal and somehow, you know, Marty them or something. Hope it's enough. I don't think that's going to help you solve the problems. I think the self conscious amount of loss, unfortunately. And for research, once again, for research, for Dini, maximum consistency with the four, cher uh, four Cherish Ball and four Quick Ball. <clears throat> we don't want to miss anything. Uh, one Air Balloon is just really nice to have that two retreat cost for your Pokemon. Like, just basically have free retreat. There's a lot of Pokemon that have two retreat cost. Uh, that's a four. That's a three, two, three, three, one, two. Well, you can't you can't put Valvin down at all. Uh, one, three, one, and two. So uh, the air balloon's really nice. Give them that free retreat. You can put on Pokemon. Put it on the Dini whenever. In the course when the Mewtwo gets knocked out, you can send it to Dini with an air balloon. It's just a free retreat. It's always nice. And also the three energy guys turn into a wonder trainer, so that's cool. A vessel hood is our shelter hood. Sorry, is nice uh, for that zigzagoons. It makes it where you know if any abilities are hit it. It doesn't work, so that's pretty nice. Um, Southern Hood becomes a big, big issue in one of my matches, and you'll see that for sure. It's going to be probably Friday's video if I do it correctly. Um, so that's pretty cool interaction we see with Stealthy Hood, um, but makes our abilities do not affect this Pokemon. So that's a big thing. Uh, like I said, the big one is going to be Zigzagoon, uh, just to uh, protect protecting you from that. Also, Giratina could be very, very scary. Get rid of your special energies. Stealthy Hood protects that. Uh, then four Aurora, four Rainbow, and two of the unit energy. The unit is Grass, Water, and Fire, which is great because it goes with Blastoise, it goes with Charizard, and goes with Valplume, so it does power those guys up. So that's the list. Like I said, there's a bunch of different things you can play with this. Um, I just played that list for today. Uh, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go over onto the website real quick to just show that off. Um, so here is the website for Flow T Flow TK Cast or Flow TK Flow T T Cast Flow to Cast. I can't say the name right. Uh, but if you go here, donate some money if you want to support the charity of, of whatever wins, you can go do that. So uh, link is down below to this. Go donate and uh, put your donate message. Say this is for 
life is just a game. Um, they are they did stream it. They not are they did. I did notify this on the Facebook page, and then we also have the deck list for everybody. Um, so I'll leave that down below. You can see Azul is playing Basalfion. It's a matchup we don't need to hit. It's a pretty bad matchup. Uh, Caleb is playing Dragon Ball. It's a matchup we do want to hit. I think that's a good matchup, especially with the uh, Greninja and Zorak plus the Mega Tyranitar in our deck. We see Daniel Altavilo playing Spirit Tomb. It's probably a matchup we don't want to hit either. Um, we do have a lot of HP, so it's hard for Spirit Tomb to reach that high, but <clears throat> I think it's still probably in his favor. Just any single prize attacker seems like it's a favor. So we have Emery playing a, also playing a Mewtwo deck. Um, you can see that he is playing pretty much the same thing, except he plays ADP, Flygon, and Cryogonal. We don't play those at our list, but besides that, he's pretty much playing the same deck. Uh, one less Dedini, he is still playing uh, the full research. Only two Boss Sword, we're playing three. Two Marnie, we're playing three. Um, outside of that, it's pretty, pretty close. He's playing Big Charm, we don't play Big Charm on our list. I don't think it's really that needed. Uh, for the Mirror, you kind of, I don't think the difference is that needed um, for the Mirror. So, <clears throat> but he's playing two Stamp. We don't play Stamp at all on our list, so. And he's also playing the different Yu and Energy. He's playing uh, Fairy, Fighting, and Dark while we're playing the Fire, Grass one. Uh, he's not, oh, he is playing Valpum. So I guess he still wants it for the Flygon and for the Greninja's Arc. That's fine. Greninja's Arc is pretty good. Uh, next up is Henry Brand, this, the maker himself, right? The Mewtwo Mew champion himself, also playing Mewtwo Mew. So we have a couple of Mewtwo Mews in here, uh, but you can see he's playing a totally different list with like Evatol. Uh, Xerneas, the Garchomp Tina, he's playing the Richard still, Valpo and Metagost. He's still playing pretty much the same thing, except he, these three guys are his main attackers, and he's playing Zigzagoon, so that's a big thing as well. He's playing two hoods instead of just the one. Um, <clears throat> three boss order, he knows what's up. Uh, four scoop up nets, of course. He's playing one Jirachi, and this is like his signature, like one one Jirachi split that he's been playing. Um, we also see Hunter. Playing his own version of Mewtwo. So a lot of Mewtwo. More Mewtwo than I thought was it was in here than I thought it was going to be. Uh, he's playing, you know, a combination of the two. He's playing like a Soul Burst. Um, Venusaur, Snivy, Garchomp, Tina. Like, he is everywhere with his list. Uh, four, four, two, and one. So that's a very, another very interesting take on this list, right? But only one boss order. So that's a big thing. He only plays one boss. I guess he's like, hey, whatever's in the active, I am attacking with it. But I think the Horror Energy plus the Garchomp Tina is a very cool combo because if you swing into it, then Garchomp Tina can then attack and they do some ton of damage to the Calamity Slash. That's a very cool thing that we see with Hunter's List. Uh, we see Isaiah playing good old trusty Pikaram. I can't really see his list that much, but it is a very heavy, uh, it looks like Tag Hall package, right? For Tag Hall, we see some Guzman Hala, some, uh, some Malolana, um, <clears throat> one Tag Switch, looks like one Great Catcher. So just a Pikaram deck. It looks like only one Raichu and like three. No, that's two, three Pikaroms. So very, very heavy Pika, which like just one Raichu and Raichu. So like just super consistent. Use that Guzma Hallow to find the speed energy and the Steedy card. And he is playing Marshall as well. It's a very cool thing to do with that list. Marshall is very, very strong. Uh, next up, we see Jeff. Jeff is playing a Firebox list. Uh, something I did not expect at all. I have seen people test Firebox for the next format, but not so much for this format in a long time. I just play a bunch of different one of attackers with a 2 2 Nine Tails. Nine Tails being able to bright look anybody up to the active or Nine Temptations. Sorry, it's not bright look. So, Nine Temptations, anybody up to the active. We see a bunch of different attacks. There's Double. We see uh, Terminator, Heatran, Rishizar, Turkle, Victini, and Victini as well. Uh, the Prism and the Victini V. So, <clears throat> a very um, interesting take on Firebox. Only two Fiery Flints, but two Giant Hearts. So, he's definitely is relying on that Giant Heart, which is a good matchup, I think, for us because we can uh, use our stadium card to kind of prevent that. Uh, we see another <coughs> uh, Pika Box deck. Uh, it is Joe, I think this is Omnipoke, playing a Pikachu Zacron, but with two Bolton and one Raichu. Um, looks like, how many tag calls? Two tag call. So he's kind of like just playing a combination of like tag call package with like just a regular Pika ROM. Uh, 10 Lightning, four speed. Uh, just want to play a super consistent lightning based deck looks like he's trying to like really go aggro with bolton to power up his pika and or raichu and raichu so we see another one oh wait this is my list <laughs> it says josh i'm like oh josh oh who's then i like, oh that's me this is my t list i'm not on a t list my mutual list uh so 
nothing we've already we haven't already seen. Uh, we see Kevin playing a lightning base deck again. It looks like another heavy Picaron matchup uh, with two four tackles, four tackles, but two Guzma, two Boss. Uh, playing the Wondrous Labyrinth. I have heard about this deck doing well, like Wondrous Labyrinth variant. Just get like you know disrupt your opponent, make way they near the energy attachment. You really don't care because you play so many energies. This is not going to affect you too much. But be, be, being able to disrupt your opponent, make it where they can't like attack because they need extra energy, it could be really, really strong. Uh, but once again, <coughs> I think it's a fire, fair matchup. He does play Marshadow as well, so that's another annoying card you have to worry about for. Uh, that's Kevin's. We see Mike is playing a Basophion. Once again, a matchup we don't want to hit. Uh, just straight up, just straight Basophion. He's playing Adventure Bag, which I do like. Is Azul playing Adventure Bag? I don't think he is. It doesn't seem like an Azul card. Nah, he's not. He's not. He is not. But Adventure Bag seems cool. I mean, he's playing the uh, Beast Bringer version, right? Uh, so if he takes, you know, a GX, GX, and it's your first prize card, <clears throat> you take an extra prize card. So I think that's pretty neat. I do like that a lot. It's just another Basophion deck. Well, Basophion, I think, just keeps living as well, too, in the next format. I think it's another strong deck uh, coming up. We see uh, Natalia playing uh, straight Zacian. Um, so then I think, I think she's the only one who plays straight Zacian. But no... No mind, just like straight. I'm gonna trip its sword. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna take knockouts. I'm gonna be super aggressive and strong. And uh, that's what she decided to play. No mind, one Zaz Zazamenta uh, to counter those tag teams. And of course, Hoopa in there for the evil added mission. But really, just trying to go for that brave blade, like turn one, turn two, right? With four <clears throat> metal saucer, we got four Jirachi. Only one Dadini, but I guess you know she's saying. Hey, I'm just gonna try to get, you know, I'm just trying to get that turn one and trump with sword into turn two attack, right? So I think she's the only one who plays straight Zashian, or Zashian at all, I think. Uh, next up is Nico. Nico playing a Dragon Ball deck, once again, a deck that I really wanna play against because it seems, you know, really, really strong with good old uh, Greninja and Zork. He is playing the Giratino for that Dimension Breach, which could discard special energy. But <clears throat> the thing about my list is we do play the Hood. He's not playing no Tool Scrapper either, so he can't get rid of that, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so if we can get maybe the hood on the <clears throat> Greninja Zork, it can take enough knockouts to knock out Dragapult. Um, like I said, it can't really two-shot us. The poor energy is definitely making a difference, so that's something very interesting. And once again, we see Raul playing a Mewtwo deck once again. Um, like I said, there's a lot of Mewtwo's here. Now this is the Welder Blocks variant, something that we haven't seen in a good minute. And he's also playing Lucario GX. <clears throat> Uh, Katanker's beatdown could be like really really strong, right? 30 times amount of energy is attached or damage counters on the Pokemon could be really really good, and um, that's probably the best GX attacker he has. Um, also, Charizard GX is really good, right? Straight 300 for 400 degrees could be a nice thing to do. Uh, but he's playing the Welder Box version, and you know, you get two fire energies, you attach it to one of your guys, draw three cards. Very strong that we've seen. Uh, was very very strong at the beginning of the season. It has it has disappeared pretty much. Uh, also, Turbo Strike to get the energies out. My Cargo GX with the Lava Flow. Uh, you could hop, you know, um, use that Burning Magma GX, but I think what we're trying to do is use that Katankers to beat down or that Charizard GX. That's probably the, the the GX attack of choice, right? With two big charms, making sure his Mewtwo Mew stays alive. He's playing three, three of Giant Hearts, so that is something to counter the uh, the swells. Um, we see Will <laughs> playing another Pika deck. So it seems like the two popular decks are going to be. Um, Lightning and Mewtwo, which is very different. I thought Dragapult would have been everywhere, but I think there's only one Dragapult in this list. So that's interesting. He does play Zerkatry. Uh, I don't even know what that Zerkatry does. It's been such a long time since I've seen that card. Um, <clears throat> does I mean I don't know. I can't recall what this Zerkatry does, and it's so far away that I can't see it. But yeah, there's a, uh, there's a Zerkatry deck. So I think there's three of them. Yeah, so there's three Lightnings I think, and there's four Mewtwo's. Let's see, one Mewtwo. Um, two Mewtwo, three, four, five. There's five different Mewtwo decks. That's crazy. Two, um, two Dragapult, two Basafion, and looks like a handful of Pika. So I think Pika is in second place, right? <clears throat> so let's see how many Pikas are in here. Let's see one, two, three. Four. So yeah, four Pika, five Mewtwo's, which is insane. I didn't think there'd be five Mewtwo decks in this. Uh, that's pretty cool, especially since it's the last tournament. But guys, there we go. 
there's everything for the tournament. Like I said, if you want to donate, link is down below. It'll be in every single one of the videos. And so this week, we'll definitely show all the games from the Flow TK cast. Uh, Life is just a game. Go donate. The winner of the tournament gets all the charity proceeds uh, donated to the charity of the choice. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow, we'll see game number one. But if you want to play some last-minute games, here are the decks that we played for the tournament. Uh, so check them out. Play some games with them. I think we only have, what... This is the last week before the set finally drops, and we'll start playing some Darkness Ablaze, and uh, people will get ready for the Pog Championship coming up. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow for our first match. Alrighty. Bye.